arrived. We are here for Chiswick Timeline's launch day. They have closed Turnham Green Terrace. It's such a wonderful day, a lovely atmosphere already. Let's go see what it's all about. How do you feel? Um, I feel slightly numb, but actually very pleased. And people seem very pleased, which is the main thing. Um, everybody seems to be happy about it. And the rain didn't rain, and the wind didn't blow, and we are, things are up. Everybody's been really good. Every, you know, all the people have come and helped and done things. It's been great. We're so thrilled to see everybody here. It's been a huge turnout, and we couldn't be more chuffed to have most of Chiswick down here to celebrate it with us. And I understand you had a huge part in putting these maps together and all the rest of it. So what was the challenge that you had for the project? Well, it's been a huge series of challenges, but um, obviously putting them each map to the scale that it needs to be to print has been an enormous challenge. Um, this is probably one of the easier maps to do because even though it's in a couple of colors, um, it's very simple. Whereas some of the later maps are very complex, many, many colors, and they all have to be separated out. So there's, each one has thrown up its individual challenges, I think that's fair to say. The other thing, the, the freebies and the wonderful extra things that people have done for this day. I just happen to have a pocket full of biscuits, but these are amazing Chiswick timeline biscuits, which, you know, so sweet. And the ceramics project and the embroidery project. People have just thrown themselves into the spirit of this and, you know, created special things for the event. So we really can't thank them enough for that. I just wanted to ask you a little bit about Chiswick and what first attracted you to Chiswick. Well, the, the very first time I came to Chiswick, literally, was to go to the Chiswick Empire because I, I, I was writing a thesis at the Royal College on the closing of the music halls. Um, so, so I um, came to Chiswick first then to go to the Empire. You have been an integral part of the project that's been happening here today. Can you tell me a little bit more about your, your part in this? The, the idea is it's a series of, of maps the same image through time and then artists that, that were working at that time so I'm in the kind of 60s bit I think. When I was asked to do it I, I, I thought well what are my links to Chiswick and I, the Empire came up immediately so that was what I decided to do. The thing to look out for on the image right at the top is a little tiny monkey and what happened apparently was that a monkey escaped from a local pet shop climbed up onto the building and they couldn't get it down so someone told me that so I popped the monkey in for, for children to find you know, or for people to wonder what the monkey is. <laughs> so find the monkey. Find the monkey, find the monkey. exactly. <laughs> Of, an, of a project like this in, in regenerating an area? Well, I think there's two things. One is the physical regeneration. I mean, there's no doubt that the, the, these walls underneath the bridge look a heck of a lot better with a beautiful piece of artwork rather than the rather grotty, graffiti-covered bricks that were there before. But the other thing is, this is a real celebration of communities, the community coming together. So many people have been involved with this, so many people have given their time, their money. The, the work that the team have done to bring it together has just been fantastic, and that's good for regeneration, because you know to have projects like this, um, if we can achieve this in Chiswick, we can achieve a lot more. So so I'm, I'm just, you know, so humbled by what everybody's achieved here. Fantastic idea, wasn't it, for a very inclusive way of bringing everyone together. So how can we encourage other areas to, to come together like this? Well, I think um, you need people with good ideas and drive, um, uh, but they need to be given support as well. And, you know, I'm pleased at the support that Hanzo Council's given them and, and uh, Transport for London and Ealing Council. So, you know, I was a councillor when this project was first thought up and I encouraged my colleagues to support it. Um, so I did my little bit back then. And, um, you know, I think that's, you know, belief um, from 
uh, local authorities, local politicians, um, other community leaders, um, you know, belief in uh, bright ideas, um, and then you know the tenacity to see it through. So it's been fantastic. So there it is. What a wonderful history of Chiswick in artwork and maps, and also what a fantastic transformation of the bridge under Turnham Green Station.